In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to effortlessly add flights to your Google Calendar. This skill is super handy for keeping your travel plans organized and in one easily accessible spot. So let's get started. First off, you'll want to ensure that Google Calendar is set up to automatically add events from your emails. To do this, open Google Calendar and look for the gear icon in the top right corner. Go ahead and click on it, then select Settings from the drop-down menu. Now scroll down to the section labeled Events from Gmail. Here you'll find an option that says Show Events Automatically Created by Gmail in My Calendar. Make sure this box is checked. This setting is crucial because it allows Google to pull flight details from your confirmation emails directly into your calendar, saving you loads of time. Now, whenever you receive a flight confirmation in your Gmail, it will automatically show up in your Google Calendar. This feature provides great ease since your flights will appear without any manual input from you, ensuring you stay on track with your travel plans. In cases where your flight details don't magically appear, perhaps because the email was sent to a different email account, or you booked through a site that isn't integrated, don't worry, you can always add them manually. Let me guide you through that process. Within Google Calendar, navigate to the date of your flight in the calendar view. Click on that particular date and time period. This will allow you to create a new event. Start by giving your event a clear and concise title. It's helpful if you include your flight number and destination right here, so it's instantly recognizable at a glance. Next, you need to set the date and time for your departure and arrival. Ensure these times reflect the appropriate time zone to avoid any mix-ups on travel day. Time zones can be sneaky, so double check if you're traveling across different zones. In the location field, add either the airport codes or full names of the airports for both your departure and arrival. This information is king, especially if you're traveling to or from an unfamiliar airport. In the description area of your event, feel free to jot down any additional details that might come in handy. This could be anything like your booking reference number or seat assignment. Once you've input all the details, review everything to ensure accuracy and hit save. With that, your flight is now officially logged in your Google Calendar. By following these steps, you can easily keep your travel itinerary in check and your stress levels in check. That's all there is to it. I hope you found this guide helpful. Organizing your flights in Google Calendar really demystifies travel planning and keeps things seamless. Thanks for watching and safe travels.